It's Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. A quick note, this will be the last One Sentence News podcast of this week. I am flying out to Costa Rica to give a talk at a retreat there, but I will be back and on my normal production schedule Monday of next week. Now that said, for today, let's talk about the news. From the Financial Times, Argentina plans emergency economic measures to avoid big devaluation. The Argentine government has announced fresh emergency measures meant to help it avoid even worse economic issues than it is already facing. Those worse issues include a devaluation that would make its foreign debt situation a longer-lasting, more negatively impactful thing. And one of the measures it's attempting is a huge hike in interest rates, up to 97%. And for comparison, the U.S. key interest rate is at 5 to 5 and a quarter percent, and that's considered to be quite high. The Argentine government is trying to stabilize things a bit before the country's upcoming October election, but there's also a bit of a scramble here as the country will run out of foreign exchange reserves soon, which could impact its ability to import fundamentals like food and fuel. From New Atlas, human trial of mRNA universal flu vaccine begins. Phase 1 human trials of a universal flu vaccine based on mRNA technologies similar to those used in many COVID-19 vaccines have begun in North Carolina. These trials will test the safety and dosage of the vaccine and measure the immune response of folks who receive it against an array of flu variants. The flu causes up to 710,000 hospitalizations and 52,000 deaths a year in the U.S. alone, and the death count can be as high as 650,000 a year worldwide, depending on which variants are most prevalent at the time. So if this vaccine proves efficacious and safe, the fairly immediate health-related upsides could be substantial. And from Reuters, China approves safety of first gene-edited crop. A gene-edited soybean has been approved for use in China for the first time, also marking the first time gene editing in any crop has been approved in the country. The edit made to this soybean increases the level of oleic acid, which is a healthy fat it contains, and the technology used to produce it is considered to be less risky than genetic modification or GMO technologies, as those can introduce foreign genes into a plant or animal, while gene editing merely alters genes that are already there. This type of gene-edited soybean has been on the market in the U.S. since 2019, and the global food industry has been planning for more such products as producers struggle to account for increasingly erratic weather conditions and shifting climate zones. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.